All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use SEMrush to develop a content strategy for SEO, how to find what content you should be writing about, and then obviously write about it. So what you'd first want to do is you want to type in the main keyword that you are trying to rank the website for. So let's say, for instance, you're selling blenders, you want to make sure you're in the keyword overview, obviously, you want to type in the keyword that you're after and hit go. And so what's going to happen here is you're going to get all of the keywords relating to this. Now, in this case, we've got a lot of eyewear stuff, but let's just open these up and we'll open up the questions as well and so let's say you're a shop for selling blenders you're trying to rank for blenders and you want to know what content to write about down this list is immediately we can start pulling out a bunch of stuff so right now we can already see some ideas here for example best blenders that's an obviously a very high search term and it could be a very good blog post where you compare all the best blenders you can go for specific brand names now i'm seeing some eyeglasses ones here obviously we'll ignore those but let's say vitamix blender i'm assuming that's a brand beauty blenders etc all these different types neutral bullet so basically what you would do is you could write reviews about all of these different brands and so we've already got a couple of blog posts as it is portable blenders this could be let's say what to look for in a portable blender best portable blenders there's a few things you could do for that best blenders for smoothies these are probably sunglasses remove that immersion blenders and so you can go through the list and basically pick out these different keywords and just write content of like best whatever type blender how to pick a what you need to know about x blender now if you want further ideas on each of these keywords what you can do is you can open the keyword so let's say smoothie blenders and we'll open neutral bullet blenders and what we can have a look is a couple of things so firstly you can look at the variations of keywords there to get some ideas a lot obviously the best top etc is the type of thing that's highly searched here now the next thing you can look at is who's actually ranking for this and what are they ranking for and a lot of these are actually review pages by the looks of things articles best blenders etc neutral bullet they're probably on here and so you would you could do something similar make that kind of article but then another thing is here we've got 44 questions just about smoothie blenders and if we take a look at this you can open it and now you've got basically a whole silo you can write about talking about smoothie blenders which is what are the best smoothie blenders are hand blenders good for smoothies are immersion blenders good for smoothies etc etc now okay some of these repeat but there'll be probably good 10 15 20 maybe topics in here that you can write about just based on these questions just about smoothie blenders and so if you go through and you do that with let's say neutral bullet blenders you've got here this one question you can go through here as well there'll probably be versus keywords and you can go through and write articles comparing them to the other different types of blenders that people are looking up and so on and now you could go through the list do that with all these different types and by that point you'll probably have a good couple of hundred potential articles as it is to already write about them now i opened up the questions for blenders as well initially if we go down this list and see this is the questions list there is a bunch of questions here about blenders already which you can already write about without even digging into the specifics of them so how do you wash a specific type of blender or how to clean the blender are they dishwasher safe what are the best smoothie blenders so that would go back to that smoothie blenders will ignore the sunglasses one who invented blenders you could certainly include something like that to try and make yourself more relevant for that topic are specific bland type blenders good are they dishwasher safe are they worth it how do you clean them again etc etc and you'd go down this list there's i don't even know how many there's 1600 different question keywords here that you'd filter through and you'll probably get a good you know a couple hundred blog topics out of this for writing blogs about and so by this point once you've done this once you've dug into a lot of the other ones you probably have a few hundred potential articles you could write just as it is off those and so that is usually a overview of the process that i use to do this now what you can also do is take a look at what your competitors are doing so let's say for instance we go blenders we'll pull out a competitor so let's say we want to look for a keyword or a shop selling blenders assuming you're a shop that sells blenders we'll go try best these guys look like they're selling blenders and so what we can do is we can actually take a look at what they're doing and we'll open them up throw them in here into the domain overview it does look like they yeah these guys specifically seem to be doing blender type products so that's what you want so now what you do is you go in here and you can start taking a look at one what keywords they actually rank for and then you can also take a look at all of the pages they rank for and see what they're ranking for and what their blogs are and what content they've written and then you can do the same thing so another way to do it, it's not strictly semrush but you can go on the website you can throw the website into google and what you do is you do site colon throw it into google and now that's going to give you all of the pages they have and so if you can find out what the blog url is 
in this case it's this okay so their blogs have slash blogs in them if we throw that in here we're now going to get a list of all of their blogs and so this can give you ideas of what they're writing about so they're writing about a lot of recipes so you could theoretically do the same i would be going after blender keywords first but this is definitely something that you can branch out to afterwards you know different recipes you can make with blenders smoothies and so on that you can talk about and that is adjacent to the topic that you're after and so that's one way to do it and you do this with all your different competitors and then you're going to start getting some very good ideas for content now another thing you can do as well is pull out their sitemap i mean this is largely the same as this but if you can find their sitemap usually it's at slash sitemap.xml what's going to happen there is it'll give you the sitemap of their website so what you want to do is you want blogs and so what i'll do is i'll take this one i'll paste that in there and it should give us all the blogs yep so you can see here now you can see all of the blogs they've written and so you could go through this list and obviously get some blog topic ideas and start writing about some of those as well if that's what you wanted to do so by this point as you can see if we've made a list of all of the things i've talked about we're probably into the you know good few hundred keywords or blog topics by this point so you'll have no shortage of things to write about blenders and we haven't even looked at all the other competitors yet so that's how you would do that now one other thing you can use in samrush for content is they've actually got a content template that you can use is i'm just going to throw in the keyword blender what it does is it'll analyze the keyword. It'll give you your competitors and the keywords you should include for that as well. And they also have a writing assistant, which I'll go into in a second. So let's say, for instance, the blenders, you can see here your top competitors, and then it tells you what keywords you should include. Now, obviously, this is a very broad keyword with a lot of, let's say, messy search results. And so this isn't going to give us something that great. However, if you did something like a very specific question keyword, let's try best smoothie blenders, because that's probably a content based keyword it should give us a better result so we'll try that so here you can see now it's starting to give us more semantically related keywords that actually make sense so things like personal blenders dishwasher safe smoothie settings power blenders etc so these are keywords you could include in that page also gives you ideas for backlinks as well which is pretty good and then another thing it does is it actually you have a seo writing assistant where it'll help you write the content for this particular keyword so what you do is you go into the SEO writing assistant and what you can do is paste your content in here. So just to give you a quick example, what I'll do is I'll pull a competitor. So let's see, say these guys, and I'm just gonna pull their content and just paste it just for the sake of the example. And I'll just paste it in here and it's gonna basically analyze the content and then give you a score and things you can improve. So keywords you can include, like semantically related keywords, the readability, what links you can see here, you can see all the, some of the keywords, most of them are included here and alt text for the images and so on. So it's just gonna analyze your entire piece of content, give you a score and let you know what you can do to improve it. So that's another thing you can do, which can help you to make better content through SEMrush. So that's basically it. That's how you can devise an SEO content strategy using SEMrush. If you have any questions about any of these things, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO and Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to get you results with SEO and Google ads, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.